Today we are speaking about property investment and we've got an exciting guest for you. But as usual, we'll go across the floor and have our, my co-host introduce herself as well as our guest. I am your co-host, Pelele Damini, and I am excited to dive into today's episode. Hello, my name is Tanya Mukwamu. I'm an IT professional and property investor and I look forward to this chat. Tanya, we're very excited to have you here today. Um, so you. tell us a little bit about your journey um, from IT, maybe from school leading up to property. What inspired you? What, what brought you into that journey? I'm from a logistics supply chain uh, background mm -hmm. and um, jumped into entrepreneurship about 13 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the IT space, software developments, apps and all sort of things, but I've always been a keen uh, traveler. Mm -hmm. And for me, uh, I don't know, just the country, uh, the continent, the world, you know, the world is mine, you yeah. know, to discover and, yeah. and learn from. So I'm always out there doing something. When, uh, um, well, the time came for me to invest into uh, uh, property, um, it was easier for me to think of uh, more on a hospitality yeah. point of view you know airbnb for me was the right uh, vehicle yeah, into yeah, yeah. into that what i've seen here is that you've taken a small space but when i walk in it feels big, big because what you've done with the with the aesthetic of it um, do you want to tell us a little bit more about this yes i'd love to mm -hmm. um okay the mirror always sort of opens up any any room it gives you sort of that um either dimension into rooms and uh we sort of broke the one wall mm -hmm. by putting actually wallpaper but it, like bricks elements so it that it's not uniform in a way so it seems like you're in a different um uh, room but yeah, you, you're actually yeah. in the same uh, uh the same space yeah. and having different um art pieces at different levels also um, helps uh, uh, you know a lot and mm -hmm. we try to be very minimal with uh, the window because mm -hmm. there's only like this one big um, window but played a little bit with um, the usage of the space yeah, yeah. a little bit of a sort of a reading um, area nice. you know and yeah. obviously there's a lounge sitting uh, or living area yeah, and yeah. Uh, so it's like really um, small areas but it's sort of autonomous on their own sure. um, but it obviously works as a um, as a whole um, I don't know if you're much of a kitchen you know cook yeah, not you know, whatever, ever. but uh, <laughs> we, we just you know kept that space more um, functional sure, you know it's just sure. you know your essentials so would you say that you have a kid interest on interior design or did you have to work with other people to kind of establish the whole feel of the space? I'm not much of an interior um, designer but I um, for people that know me this is a reflection of you know a few things that I like okay. I've um, I've got um, this art piece from a local um, uh, artist but it's uh, Stephen Langer and I like you know the the, the everybody's looking in one direction and this lady this young girl actually is trying to be different she's yeah. like this is this is who i am yeah. and um i've got artwork from you know the, the drc where i'm from and um an image well a painting actually with sort of depicts uh, a taxi rank uh, uh -huh. you know in Joburg yeah. and that's like you know me as a student in Joburg I, like that was my life you yeah, know yeah. so um it sort of brings that um that energy so the thing with Airbnb is it it can't always be about me because a guest must feel comfortable and for whatever long however long they're going to stay make it their own so yeah. I try to yes have a, a, a collection of things that I love, mm -hmm. but at the same time keep it also not too um, loud or or centered on on me, so that it sort of blends with whoever um, is staying in the in the yeah. unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, what are the challenges with running an Airbnb? The biggest challenge for me was um, managing the um, the place, sort of the day-to-day yeah. -day, uh, management. Um, checking in and out, um, maintenance, cleaning. Yeah. So um, very, uh, from the onset for me, it was uh, important to, f to have a team. Mm -hmm. So um, I have a, a property manager, okay. someone who takes care of um, 
um, hiring the cleaners, making sure the unit is uh, clean, that we're not losing anything. Mm -hmm. And we, we also have uh, um, a lot of, you know, like um, a rotation of, uh, of guests. Oh, yes, um, yes. And obviously there's a um, percentage uh, split also sure, when it comes sure. to the uh, to the revenue. But for me, I'd rather do it and, and you know, uh, as a, as a collective unit, than, yeah, yeah. than, uh, than myself. Yeah. Um, um, another risk would be um, items, unfortunately, going, going missing. missing. Oh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, this is not a hotel per se, but um, uh, hospitality is known for losing a lot of things, you know, from cutlery to um, some guests will, will be kind enough to give, yeah. yeah, some guests will be kind enough to even leave you a note like, look, I like this, so I'm taking it, Whoa. you know, and, uh, and sort of wor work <laughs> out a, 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 a plan, but many don't. Yeah. So, um, you know, you need to have um, insurance in place and, you know, it's, it's not necessarily what you, you, you think of, you know, from the onset, but it's important. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't, um, as much as I have art pieces or, or uh, to, to have sort of that um, uniqueness about the unit, yeah. I don't try to bring in furniture or pieces that are not replaceable. Yeah. I don't, there's no family heirloom or anything that I would yeah, you miss. Value yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So I, I try to, to keep that, you know, uh, um, functional. Mm -hmm. And um, also, the, I think another, it's not most of a risk, more, more of a challenge yeah, is yeah. Uh, to keep the, the, the unit busy, you know, because yes, you, yes. uh, you do have low seasons and, and like any business, I suppose. Sure. So uh, marketing is, um, is important. You yeah. need to be um, in people's minds, mm -hmm. you know, um, not necessarily always looking for new guests, but also charming whoever is already here or booked with you previously, so, you can get so that they presence. can come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I want to dive more into marketing, but Lele, you can. <laughs> so, yeah. I wanted to ask about uh, you spoke about the insurance part of things and people taking things and leaving things. Mm -hmm. So, I have also used Airbnb a couple of times as mm -hmm. a guest, and I did have a, an incident where we broke something, yeah. and then Airbnb was the communicator between okay. me and the landlord to say, yeah. Okay, you guys have broken this, this is how much it costs, you have to pay it back. So, then it was pending on my account. So, I wanted to know. Are you also with different um, investment sites? I mean, yeah, booking sites like Bookings.com, mm -hmm. and, and 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 do they have that same sense of security between the landlord and the tenant? Yeah. So, um, from a um, income or profitability point of view, it is actually wise to have uh, your property available on different sites mm -hmm. so that you also have um, access to a different pool of customers you know because um, maybe an Airbnb client is more of a 20-something um, early 30s and then the booking.com would be maybe a longer stay um, 40s you know sure, so sure. you you have that uh, mix of um, uh, clientele yeah. um, access. So yes, I, I, I have um, the property listed in different uh, platforms and the, the Airbnb does have their own sort of in-house um, insurance sure. uh, um, uh, brokerage or system, but I also have um, an external uh, company called Pineapple, where mm -hmm. I, um, it's an insurance company in South Africa, yeah. where I, uh, you can sort of easily in, with your phone clicks and, and, and uh, insure sort of wow. small movable awesome. yeah. um, items yeah. um, and that's what I use for for uh, booking.com mm -hmm. yeah but otherwise uh, Airbnb is everything is done through through them mm -hmm. from an insurance point of view okay yeah. let's talk about capital um, mm -hmm. how would I need to break down my capital because we've, we've been having these conversations with uh, business people you know mm -hmm. And one of the things that we, well, I've noticed is that people will, will have capital, but one of the things they won't look at when they break down their capital and prepare it is the marketing part. Mm. So what pillars do I have to prepare in order to say, okay, now I have my capital and it encompasses everything? For me, um, okay, you need to, um, whichever amount you're thinking, you know, let's say the property is 500K mm -hmm. and um, to be, Honest, not too um, <laughs> positive or, or hopeful, I would say don't expect um, high revenue for the first two years. Uh, so, 
Wow, two uh, years. The, the two years would be would, would be really your your um, sort of break even uh, uh, period. Sure. So your during those those first two years, yeah. your your focus is really um, breaking down your um, expenses into um, repaying your your loan sure. um, if you if you've if taken loan, out yeah, yeah. Um, you've taken out a loan mm -hmm. uh, paying your your charges may it could be um, electricity water um, your your sewage whatever yeah, it, uh, yeah. comes with the uh, the bill and um, your maintenance stuff it could sure. be the, the, the cleaning and and all of that and um, there's so much information when if you're looking into um, the property space mm -hmm. um, say you want to buy or rent uh, they usually give you that information on okay how much um, the property is worth and what will be your rates on yeah. a monthly basis yeah. so you can sort of project and um, during those interviews or uh, consultations with the potential um, seller you can mm -hmm. ask them you know what was the, the apartment used for was it um, uh, on Airbnb yeah. or there's a there's actually a tenant a long-term tenant yeah. and how much um, do you do you charge you know For what what can I expect as a yeah. revenue yeah. on a monthly basis if I go this route or or, or that route yeah. so you work out um, you want to make sure that um, your income okay is at, at the very least um, includes it well, includes at the, in the end of the day your repayment mm -hmm. to the bank yeah. as well as your your charges wow. if anything you want to make no money yeah. but you don't want to lose, lose money, money. Wow. okay yeah. so yes so i can't really tell you um an exact formula but that will be the the guideline yeah um yeah so i do get nervous when i'm like <laughs> oh my gosh i'm like couple hundreds in or sure, you know sure. so because those months are I mean they, they, they do related, they do yeah. come okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's not always rosy sure. but you want to at least be on that basis where you you you, you the the apartment in a way is repaying itself yeah so you, the property is repaying itself via your long-term tenant or your Airbnb or other options sure. that you that you have available that would be the, the basis you know of my sort of calculation yeah mm -hmm. so properties um okay so this one uh this one for two years now mm -hmm. okay so i'm like Just getting into <laughs> <laughs> the good days yeah, <laughs> yeah. and uh, the the other one just uh, over a little over yeah mm -hmm. yes you did say that the other one's in Sentin. yes um so tell us a little bit about that one what makes it different and what is it like having one here and having one in Sentin? what are the differences okay the um okay the, the one in Sentin is slightly bigger it's um it's a one bedroom uh unit so you can um sleep four uh guests you know oh, from, oh, a, wow. from a okay. uh, um, sort of size um well, uh, yeah point of view yeah. and um, also tend to get people for longer stays yeah. compared to uh, here in Mabineng where people are mostly here for the weekend or the long weekend um, sort of shorter uh, period is, of yeah. time mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. and uh, from the guests it uh, I tend to well sentence tend to appeal to uh, more to like your tourists and so not really your sort of recurrent uh, guests but Maboneng um, actually is a mix. You, I do get a few um, tourists, but a lot of um, locals, people staying for like maybe a staycation or sure. moving for whatever um, reason. And yeah. I do get a lot of return business from from locals. So I can, you know, it's always a, nice to see. Ah, you're back, <laughs> you back, yeah. you know. And yeah. I know you you like your chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I give you a little crazy when that's you cute. check in. Yeah. So it's just uh, it's always like nice to 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 know who's yeah. um who's staying without you know obviously <laughs> prying or <laughs> yeah um so before also you did speak about how you are a worldly person yes. and you are taking from your experiences as a consumer and bringing that into your business yeah. so what are the key things that you've taken from your experiences as a consumer of airbnb mm -hmm. to then being the host yes honestly a good tip when you're looking to 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 get into airbnb um, for me has been to be a consumer of Airbnb mm -hmm. because okay Airbnb as a platform has a lot of education huh? you you they do give you a lot of tips and there's a whole side to Airbnb hosting where you get 
wealth of uh, information on you know how to be a good host and uh, oh, wow. get your, your, your unit ready and all sort of stuff. Mm. But there's really nothing like learning from other hosts. So you see how this person, you know, like, oh, they, they actually leave, um, I don't know, flowers this way or whatever. Yeah. They, they maybe functional tips, you know, like, um, okay, as, as far as even like what type of, um, I don't know, pillows they, yeah. they, they, they use, you know, um, if you felt the bed to be very, uh, very comfortable and you would like to extend that to your own guests. So yeah. you, it's always, you know, um, uh, it, for me, it's been uh, highly refreshing to, to, to sort of um, get inspiration from, uh, from other guests, so you, from other hosts. Yeah, yeah. So it would be from um, decor to just how I do things or how I automate, you know, the, uh, my check-in process. Oh, so yeah. others are so good with, you know, how <laughs> you, you, you don't even see them, you know, it's like sure. quick in and out. So sure. it's, it's very um, uh, important and also uh, seeing what others are in other countries also um, are doing, and uh, the one thing that I'm, I got was um, the this Instax um, uh, camera, where it's like, okay, you know, whilst you're here, you know, and exploring, please take Feel it with free. you, and that's, but that's you know, really you don't nice. have to obviously leave your pictures, take take them yeah, with you, but yeah. like you, it's 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 also a way for you to remember us, maybe check again, you yeah. know, like come back yeah. <laughs> you know so it's it, you, we, we sort of you you we, we, we become like a piece of you sure, you know sure going forward so it's that was like a nice tip as well from that, that's really nice others. you know just yeah. to have that memory and yeah. to say wow that Airbnb gave me that memory which I don't get from anywhere else exactly. so I think that's really nice um, the Maboneng market so I've been around for quite some time Mm -hmm. So I've seen a change um, mm. and I want to talk about marketing. So with the change that's been happening, yeah. has, have you had to change like how you market? Um, how do you market? Mm -hmm. And with the transition of the area, because now it's honestly becoming louder here and yes. from a quiet space that had coffee shops, that had, <laughs> you know, now it's, it's a club yeah. scene. Mm. So had, has that changed your market and, and the way that you market yourself? Yes. Um, well, Yes, about the, 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 the noise, yeah. um, I've had to literally now in the listing mention that I'm right on the street and the, the wow. noise levels can yeah. be pretty high. Yeah. So to sort of manage the client's um, expectations because um, it just be, you know, very quiet, yeah. very quiet. Yeah. but um, you know, when we lead into the weekend, Thursday or whatever, it can be very loud, although uh, by two in the morning, it's, it's quiet again, yeah. but it's always, you know, good to, 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 be, to be forefront, you know, like forward with the clients yeah. and, and tell them, okay, you booking right on the main street and uh, it gets loud and uh, uh, don't just expect that people are here to party. Some, some do actually stay in, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> strange, but, <laughs> but they do, you know, and um, also, so it, for me, um, Another um, thing also, especially post-COVID, was that, yes, tourism is back, you know, you know, we getting the traction that we, um, sure. we had, but um, honestly, the, um, the tourists, the international clients are, are less, okay. uh, uh, are coming in less, they will come for maybe um, one night, you know, mm -hmm. they would play in the itinerary around, you know, two days in Mabuneng and then Santon and then is one would. I mean, if you're coming from far and visiting South Africa, you would spread out your stay. Sure. So totally understandable. Mm -hmm. So it would, it was very important for me to create a rapport with local um, guests and yeah. local uh, consumers. Yeah. So um, working with um, content creators and um, uh, influencers, not necessarily huge, you know, big following, not, it's not uh, uh, much about that. It's more someone who would genuinely come in and, uh, and stay for, yes. for, for the weekend yeah. and, and make the space their own and, and sort of project that image yeah. and uh, for others to sort of, you know, see value in also booking yeah. um, uh, with us. So sure. that's, 
you know, uh, another way of uh, marketing the space. So. Uh, on my quieter days, you know, which are Monday to, to Wednesday, sure. that's when I would have photo shoots or someone has cooked here before, oh, uh, nice. you know, so um, uh, those are, um, uh, it's a mix, you know, I yeah. do get income from it, mm -hmm. not necessarily uh, uh, someone booking, uh, you know, because they, they might not mention that I'm here booking, uh, I mean, recording from you know this yes. location yeah. but uh, at least from in a way I'm getting some income from just sure. renting out the, the place so you've got to sort of diversify yeah. your, 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 yeah. your income as well. Okay so did you have to go and learn these tips like did you have to take a short business course because you seem well versed in your understanding of how a functional business works yes. or did you just have to collect information from other people and a lot I learned from uh, uh, Airbnb, you know, they have like wealth of education like you do on, you know, YouTube has yeah. their own um, platform where you can learn a few tips on, you know, how to run your YouTube channel. Yeah. So um, same goes with um, uh, Airbnb and um, just fed off of other uh, hosts and my, my property manager as well because it manages a few properties around the area. So we would share, you know, um, information and and so on and just keep learning you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah i think do, do you have because i want us to move into wrapping it up now do you want to add anything can i start my Airbnb business now <laughs> <laughs> okay you will okay you will see you will see money um but you've got to be um hands-on uh patient you know with with yourself and um, be willing to, to to talk about it. It's not necessarily a, something that you just you know let sit and then because it's on Airbnb, there's millions of properties on Airbnb. Yeah, yeah. There's so many in Baboneng alone. So you know, and also um, um, be uh, strict with yourself. Have a a clear goal, you know. I I want eighty percent occupation. That's what I'm, I'm aiming on a month to month. I want at least twenty days out of thirty yeah. for to to be booked for whatever it is. If it's a shoot or it's someone actually staying in. Sure. But so I I make sure how do I get there, you know. So the target. exactly yeah. so the the Airbnb has its own. Uh, Instagram page, you know, n not necessarily mine, but and working with um, influencers is nothing better like um, better than other people talking about sure. you, you know, rather than you yourself sort of preaching. Oh, yes, yeah, so um, you know, be out there, be aggressive, but honestly, one day you'll get that notification that you've got your first <laughs> book, <laughs> and you will, you know, you'll be on your way. It's, it's not saturated by any means. What does the future look like? Um, I, a little birdie <laughs> told me that you travel a lot. Yes. So are you, <laughs> are you looking to go into other countries, other provinces um, in the country? What's um, the plan for the future? You know what? I am um, considering uh, a, um, a hiking trip to the Drakensberg. Nice. Uh, I know one would think winter, but I, I prefer it now I, I'm not really one for <laughs> for winter so uh, a local point of view and then maybe an uh, Asian trip towards okay. November but that's me are you gonna be opening a Airbnbs anywhere else Pat? oh for now no for now I'm <laughs> I'm staying here I'm staying Shit. home <laughs> I cannot <laughs> um it's 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 quite demanding yeah. you know and also um finding the right team you know um I can always sort of pop in here if there's something wrong I mean you you get these things where I don't know the wi-fi is not working for uh, some reason and yes. I need to bring a spare modem you know I can't do that <laughs> Everywhere, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so um, yeah, but uh, for me, it's I stay with what's manageable for now, you know. But who knows? Thank you for being so forthcoming with like your information and the way that you've explained everything. I feel like this was a very short but a very packed episode. So um, thank you for that, and thank you for opening us up to this beautiful space. Mm -hmm. I truly just I understand the aesthetic. You yeah, said the beautiful. mirror, and it's just so beautiful. Yeah, thank um, so thank you.
tell us how to book, uh, the locations, the addresses and all of that for anyone okay. that's watching. We are um, Studio 303, that's uh, how the, the listing is in uh, Airbnb. Uh, I'll do the YouTube thing, you'll find the link <laughs> below. <Yeah. laughs> And uh, that's right on Fox Street in, in Maboneng. Uh, come in, vibe with us, stay with us, you know, enjoy this space and review, you know. I, I'd love to hear from all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. That was a wonderful episode. Um, I really hope that you are in, if you're in business or looking to go into property investment, that you've learned a lot from this. And we'll be bringing you more um, here at Business Talk. Please join us again next week for another exciting episode. Cheerio.